From the last Talking Ben video, a lot of you were asking how I had a soundboard on my wrist. So I'm going to show you. You're going to need to be playing on Steam VR, and you're going to have any form of soundboard that works with um, Gorilla Tag. Personally, I use Soundpad because, it, because it's pretty reliable. So um, this is going to require OVR Toolkit. After I show you the OVR Toolkit way, I will show you the free way, which is a worse way, but it still works. Um... So basically, OVR Toolkit, it costs, I think, $10 on Steam. But basically, once you get it, you want to launch it with Steam VR open and in the headset. Um, on your screen, you'll get a little pop-up. It'll just load OVR Toolkit. And then once it's done loading, you'll hear a little beep. There's the beep. So basically, now that you are on... OVR Toolkit, you'll have this little menu on your wrist. Now you want to go to Settings. And on here, you want to click on Spawn New Window. And it'll spawn this. Now, you want to click on Settings on the, win on the little window. And it'll bring up this little window setting. You can click on Switch Window. And you can focus it on a certain application. Like right now, it's focused on my VR view. Uh, you can go down, turn off eco mode, which will change the FPS on the display. If you turn on eco mode, it basically just makes the FPS horrible. And then, once you have this, you go ahead and press your grip on it. And then this little hand thing will pop up. If you put it next to your hand, it'll turn green. And then it's anchored to your hand. And then when it's, once it's anchored to your hand, you can just put it anywhere you want, and it'll be there. Uh, you can use these buttons to resize it. Um, and that's basically it. And, I mean, if you want uh, more, you can just click double-click on Window List, Spawn New Window, and you can just spawn a bunch of windows. Oh, God. More. We need more. More, more, more. I have to delete all of these. <sighs> okay, and then you can just go ahead and close your settings. Now, on this, you can actually do input. When you hop into a game or anything, it will just stay in your hand in any game, in any software. Once I show you how it looks in Gorilla Tag, I'm going to show um, how to do it the free way and the, the bad, cheap way. So as you can see, in here, um, we're in Gorilla Tag, and right here is our little menu. Uh, it's a little trippy, because if you, put, you try to put your hand in front of it, it doesn't, it overlays it. If you ever want to hide, you can just double click uh, your both of your grips at the same time, or on your little wrist menu, you can press the arrow to toggle. And it's also a really useful setting in the settings of your window. Um, if you go down to visibility, um, where it says hide when not looking at window, if you check that, it'll only appear when it's in a certain range of your vision. And now for the cheaper way. This is within Steam. If you just open your desktop and click on your controller, it will just put it on your controller. Now the bad thing about this is that you can't actually have input. To have input on your actual window, you have to open your menu and do it. And you have to do the same to move it around and stuff. But I mean, you can just have like a window there, like if you want. Use the OVR toolkit, this way is terrible.